Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew 6, 19 to 23. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not store up treasures for yourself on earth, where moths and wormwoods destroy them and thieves can break in and steal. But store up treasures for yourselves in heaven, where neither moth or wormwoods destroy them and thieves cannot break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. It follows that if your eye is sound, your whole body will be filled with light. But if your eye is diseased, your whole body will be all darkness. If then the light inside you is darkness, what darkness that will be? Seek first the kingdom of God. Eyes that are trained on God will seek light and faith and eternity. In today's Gospel, Jesus speaks directly to the human tendency to prioritize earthly treasures over heavenly riches. He warns us against the fleeting nature of material wealth, which can corrode, be stolen, or decay. Instead, he directs our focus to the enduring treasures of heaven. The treasures of heaven are not material possessions or fame. Rather, they are the virtues of love, compassion, kindness, and humility. They are the fruits of a life in God, where every action is guided by faith and love. If we train our hearts to desire God above all else, we would be storing up a treasure that endures. The old hymn, Seek First the Kingdom of God, is a beautiful reminder of where our hearts ought to be placed. Jesus also speaks of the eye as the lamp of the body. It depends on how and what we train ourselves to see that will determine the desires and pursuits in our lives. Eyes that are trained on God will seek light and faith and eternity. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.